Hi, I'm Katherine Raker, one of your hosts. And I am Chef Michael Belanger. The chef. At Pebble Creek Golf Club. Right, and you've been even on the Food Food Network. Food Network in its early days, yes. In its early days, and we decided to create a show because there's so many people in this country that are obese. Am I correct? You're very correct. And, you know, we can all eat healthy and live until we're 120 if we eat right and exercise, right? That's absolutely correct. Now, you know, you have such a wonderful kitchen, and it's so easy to do in a chef's kitchen. But, you know, part of our show is in your kitchen and then in my kitchen or someone else's kitchen. Right? right? It's really to learn how to cook again. That's right, and how to cook at home. And it's not any different from cooking in my kitchen or in a home kitchen. There's really no really? huge difference. No, there's not. It's and we're going to learn a lot, right? right? Correct. Okay. I mean, I didn't even know what this was before. That's a poblano pepper. Now, let me ask you a question about poblano peppers. If I just wanted to eat this, you know, after I cut it up and everything, what would it do to me? It would give you a little... A, little, a bite? A, yeah, just a little bit. But on a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably a 3 on the three? chili scale. A yeah. 3 on the chili scale? Yeah. What's the hottest chili out there? Ha- habanero. A habanero. Yeah, habanero. Do you do any dishes with habaneros? I do lots of dishes with habaneros. Ooh. When they're cooked, the flavor actually mellows out a little and it has the flavor of the habanero. It has a wonderful flavor, just really? a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. Right. So you're going to teach me basically how to cut vegetables up to put this recipe together now we've got two recipes today correct we have regular chili your southwestern chili the beef chili right the beef, which right which has about 655 calories per about cup. that correct. correct and then we're going to do our bison chili the same chili with bison and that's right. about what half of that's about 300 320 calories yeah per cup and we're going to get to eat it too right that's right now, are we going to make a little part of it without garlic for me? We'll make the bison chili without garlic. Today. Okay, that's a good deal. That's okay. a good deal. And you, we've got some secret ingredients that we're going to put into it, right? That's correct. Well, that's cool. That's you know, I have never seen carrots and celery in chili. There was a person that I met many years ago from Texas who taught me about carrots and chili. And celery is just to me a given in really? any kind of stew like that. Well, I would, like a stew. Well, I would think so. You, you yeah. would really think yeah. so that yeah. celery and onions and garlic and now you use green peppers. They kind of give me a little bit of heartburn, so I don't usually use them in my chilies. But for today, we're going to do that. Good. Okay? So you're going to show me how to do a carrot like I've never done before. Can you show me that? Sure. Okay. Carrots. <clears throat> This is a carrot peeler. Most people know this as a carrot peeler. It looks and like they, a carrot peeler. Right, right. Meat. And they think that it's for right handed and left handed people. But yeah. that's absolutely wrong. It's just so that you can scrape back and forth like this. Wanna try that? Okay, I wanna try that. That sounds like simple. fun. It's real fun, simple. fun, Look fun, at that. fun, see how fun, easy fun. That is? Now see the last time I did this, right? I wasn't as fast, but now I'm learning how to be really this is fast getting with much that. Better. You're right. Now, do you ever use the peelings for anything? Yeah, I cook the peelings down actually in a stock. Right. A lot of times, uh, the peelings and also, as I'm as we're getting ready to do this and chop this up, right. we'll take the end of this piece right here, right, and we'll cut it off, and we'll take these pieces here. There you go. These handy dandy scrapers that I have, and you can also get these in plastic. Right. They're handy, and they keep your board clean. And yeah. those scrapings will go off to the side, and those will go into a pot to make a vegetable stock, Ooh. or a beef stock, or a chicken stock, depending on what I have right. in there. Right. But always the vegetables. But the carrot we'll take, and we're just going to, according to the recipe, split it three different pieces, one, two, three, like this. Uh-huh. And we'll take it here, uh-huh. and cut it in half. That's all we have to do. And you notice how I'm holding my fingers. The fingers are held so that it's like this. If you put your fingers out here and you come down, you're going to cut a piece off. So what you want to do is always keep your fingers tucked and your knife guides down the edge. It's just like this. Okay, do I get to try? Yeah, you do. But get that smaller knife because it's a larger chef's knife knife and and it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. And if I do it like this, tuck your fingers. All right, I got them in there. Come behind there. That's it. Is that good? That's excellent. And let the knife ride down the side. The knife is a rocking. It's a French knife, so it rocks. So that's good. I'm getting there. You're getting there, but your fingers actually need to be out this way a little bit. There you go. Okay. This is, you got to practice with this. You have to practice a lot, but once you get good at it, 
I'm going to practice it's it not now. hard. Okay. People should practice that. They should okay. practice And just a chopped carrot like that. That's all you want. Right. Do you ever use, like I know this is cheating, but do you ever use a food processor? Oh, sure I have. Oh, good. Sure I just I wondered. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, I wondered about that. Matter okay. of fact, I made coleslaw for 350 the other day, and all of my coleslaw, all of my cabbage went through the food process. That's a great, great idea. Do you <laughs> this like is celery. Okay, yeah. and we're okay. just going to take that and chop it down. Good deal. It's not hard. Okay. Once you get used to it, it's easy to cut like this. You notice my thumb is way back here actually pushing it up. How long did it take you to do that? Oh, I don't know. I've been doing years? this since I was like 15, 15 years old. So it's, it's, you know, it's to me it's just a normal way to cut. Now, an onion is a little different, right? Onion is way different. Way different. But way do different. you use the peel at all? I use the peel to cook down. You do? For stock. Really? Yes. I have to start doing that. Yeah. Okay. When I first married my wife. Which one? She, <laughs> I'm a chef. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all of my friends always say which one because they've been to all of my weddings. <laughs> they've been to all your weddings? Well, I've only been married twice. Well, good for you. That's good. I figured I third time was a charm. Three times. Third right? time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Anyways, but when she had her mother come by and she, yeah. she explained to her mother when she first met me, right. every, all of my garbage and everything that I did was wet because I would take all of these pieces and I would cook them down in a vegetable stock, but that makes my soup so much better. You know, i got to try that because really so that's a better. great idea. Right. So the, the onion, if we peel it like this and then take these pieces here off, because with onions you'll find pieces like this. Yeah, they get a little bit yeah. uh, moldy. Moldy. Now do there you put your onions just in um, a cool area or do you put them in the refrigerator? I keep them in a cool area. If I don't have a cool area, I do keep them in the refrigerator. That keeps the gases from coming up in your eyes and you won't tear up as much. Oh, I see. Okay, but when you cut the onion in half, then if you cut it here, yeah, and then here, right, two cuts there, right. we're going to chop this onion so it has to be diced. And we're going to cut it here, two, three, just three times. Three times. And then just chop it like this. Right. And you see that the onion itself has a wonderful equal size. Oh, that's a great cream. idea. That's a great yeah. idea. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's not rocket science. If you want to dice it, you're just going to make your cuts a little thinner mm -hmm. here and here. Mm -hmm. And then cut it down. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. But this, for, for this purpose. Why does that make you cry? The gases from the onion. Yes. The gases from the onion. Because those are strong onions. They're making me cry and I'm not even, oh. I'm not even chopping them. You're crying? I'm, yeah, I've got tears in my eyes. Seriously. Don't cry for me. Argentina. I need right? To do that. Okay, Good. now we have enough okay. for one pot, right? This is one pot. I have another pot that's already prepped. We do have to do also cut the poblano. Now you now, told me if that. If you are sensitive yeah. to a, a chili or anything like that, what you want to do is wear. Gloves. Some plastic gloves right. so that here I get to do one. The seeds, it's the seeds actually from the poblano uh -huh. or from any chili that will cause you to burn a little. And if you get it near well, your eyes, what I've done is it. even working with habaneros uh -huh. is I've taken and cut the habanero, not put head gloves on, right? Because we're always going pretty fast in the kitchen, and then gone. Oh gosh, like this. Oh. Really? What a burn in my face. It was amazing. Yeah, now you so. take out all the seeds, I know. Take all the seeds out. Right. Clean it out. Okay. And when you, when you have a pepper, you have to look at it and say, okay, sometimes, even even if you're buying from the most reputable places, mm -hmm. sometimes, depends on the season, yeah. you'll have pieces that you just don't want to put in your food. Right. So you just trim it up, clean it up. And then you just cut it up. And you just cut it. And you get, this is a chop. This one is a chop. There you go. That's that's better. Instead of going like this, they try to rock it and the rock it forward. Forward. Forward, not backwards. This way? Forward. 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 I know that's forward. different for you. I know that's forward. different for me. There you go. It's like Pilates is we'll, different we'll for me. We'll try this again with the green pepper. The green pepper is the same way. The difference on this green pepper yeah. is that when you're cooking with the green pepper, uh -huh. you want to clean the rib out. The rib